Hello, in this video, we're going to show how to prove isoquants are convex or that they display the property of the diminishing Marshall rate of technical substitution. So, prove that isoquants are convex to their origin. Here's a production function that will give rise to such isoquants. We get the Marshall product of labor. Just simplify down to the following. We get the marginal product of capital, and that gives us this result here. We'll form the marginal rate of technical substitution, the marginal product of labor, divided by the marginal product of capital. And we can clean this up a little bit. The 0.5s cancel, and this L raised to the minus one half divided by L to the one half is just L in the denominator. And likewise, we'll just end up with K in the numerator. So we got our marginal rate of technical substitution, capital divided by labor. We're going to take the total differential of the marginal rate of technical substitution. Keep in mind, when moving along an isoquant, K changes with L, so we will use the total differential. We need to consider that a change in L has a direct effect on Q and an indirect effect on Q. Q is output through the change in K. So here's our marginal rate of technical substitution. The total differential will look something like this. So the left-hand side can be thought of as the change in the marginal rate of technical substitution. Over here on the right-hand side, we're going to take the partial derivative of the marginal rate of technical substitution with respect to capital, multiply that by the change in capital, plus the partial derivative of the marginal rate of technical substitution with respect to labor and multiply that by the change in labor. So the partial derivative of the marginal rate of technical substitution with respect to capital, that's just one divided by L that I have down here. And that's all being multiplied by a small change in capital. And then we're gonna take the partial derivative of the marginal rate of technical substitution with respect to labor so this K divided by L, we take the partial derivative of that with respect to labor. Using the quotient rule, we get minus K divided by L squared, all multiplied by a small change in labor. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide everything through by DL. So now we got the derivative of the marginal rate of technical substitution with uh, respect to labor. It gives us this result here. So that's just our last result after dividing through by DL. Now note that the derivative of K, derivative of capital with respect to labor, is just the slope of the isoquant. And the slope of the isoquant is just minus the marginal rate of technical substitution. And we know in this problem, the marginal rate of technical substitution, when we took the marginal product of labor and divided by the marginal product of capital, we got K divided by L right here. And so we're just going to throw that minus sign in front there. So the again, the slope of the isoquant, the derivative of capital with respect to labor, is just minus the MRTS. The MRTS is K divided by L, and then we get the minus sign there. So making a substitution on top here where we have dk over dl. I'm going to replace that with minus k divided by l. And now simplify that up a little bit. We end up here with the derivative of the marginal rate of technical substitution with respect to labor is minus 2k divided by l squared. Notice that this is negative. That's what we wanted to show. The, this derivative here is negative, and that's what we want to show for convex isoquants. So this derivative is negative, which proves that the MRTS diminishes with an increase in L. So isoquants are convex. Okay, that's it.